I paid them and they disappear. Oh, I didn't get my plants. The plants are my dead. The plants I received weren't even what I bought. The Santa costed me. The tracking number doesn't even work. At least, <laughs> you got a tracking number. I didn't even get anything. My dumbass paid via friends and family. I don't even know the mother -hugger. Gasp. Hi, my salty pecans, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Pamela, and on today's video, we are going to be talking about online plant scams, online plant sale scams, just being online, trying to have a transaction with someone else in regards to purchasing a plant and really getting the short end of the stick. So if you're interested in talking about this very, very extremely common, extremely rampant, basically nonsense that's happening, and also how to avoid falling victim to this, yes, we do not want to fall a victim like your cousin Pam did, okay? So if you're interested in talking about this, then keep on watching. <laughs> If you're like me, then you've probably either purchased a plant online or thought about getting one of these wishlist beauties you can't seem to get your hands in in stores. So the idea and possibility of you purchasing one online is very high, especially in the times that we're in with quarantine and lockdown. As the demand for plants continues to increase, so have plant scams. Plant scams have also seen a rise. There are so many ways to get scammed virtually online. It's, it literally is insane. It's all literally due to a click of a button. Once you click that button, you're signing your rights, you're signing your finances oh wait it's kind of crazy and you have to be very very careful when doing any transactions online because you really don't know what you're getting into unless you read the fine i discovered the online plant community around 2015 2016 when i was researching some care tips for my fiddle leaf fig tree and since then i frequented countless of plant sites platforms in order to continue growing my collection sadly one of the very first plant purchases that i did make on a plant forum I got scammed it was so it was so sad <laughs> and it was literally all due to my eagerness and lack of knowledge I'm not saying that you know not knowing about how to purchase plants online is like an issue you're at fault no but because I didn't know better it led me to learn okay going through mistakes going through wrongs helps you learn and you can then hopefully help someone avoid making those same mistakes but yeah like i mentioned because of my eagerness and lack of knowledge i ended up losing about a hundred dollars and a plant <laughs> i wish i had known these before purchasing <laughs> The first, the very, very first tip that I'm going to give you all, the very first advice that I'm going to give you all is to read the listing. Yes, read the listing, read the post, read the listing for the plant that you're about to purchase. I find that sellers tend to hide the truth in the fine print. They will show a fully mature plant, but in reality, they're selling a one leaf rootless cutting. This is not a scam, but it's kind of like the concept of reading the fine print the user agreement it's like when you're signing up for a new website or downloading an app instead of really going down and reading oh, okay what rights am i giving away like what privacy things are they stealing from you just like yep agree to terms and conditions this is pretty much what not reading Read the terms and conditions, understand what the listing is, understand what you're purchasing so you then don't turn around and get a plant, a package in the mail that is not what you purchased. That it, There's nothing worse than that at all. Make sure you know what you're buying so you could avoid all of that headache and chaos after the fact. So plant purchase tip number two to avoid getting sammed is looking at the pictures. 
look at the photos look at the listings of the plant that you're trying to purchase whether you're trying to get this plant on ebay whether you're trying to get this plant on facebook or whether it's like a shop that you've never heard of and you're like oh wishlist plant i'm gonna purchase it look at the photos because a lot of the times what some of these sellers some of these scammers do they'll steal photos from another plant seller's listing they'll steal photos from someone else's social media page and they'll try and pass them off as their own they'll try to get the prettiest thing with the most eye-catching the most appealing photo they're like oh my gosh i know somebody is going to want this popular plant right and i'm going to label it and i'm going to sell an amazing photo to these people and no one really is like oh the seller is not telling the truth oh no that's a stolen photo let me go ahead and buy that plant and then boom you didn't realize that hey this is tom doe from facebook and they have a million followers and that is a very common photo and you just got scammed out of x amount of dollars because they sold you a dream don't be afraid to ask the seller for more photos because you know what if that's really your plant if that's really your listing it is no hair off of your back the same way you can respond to my inquiry my request to purchase your plant is the same way that you can also respond with my inquiry to see more photos because guess what if I'm willing to dish out my hard-earned money to purchase a plant the least you can do the least work that you can do is maybe send me a different angle show me the photo from the left show me the photo from the right let me see the roots is this a cutting is this cutting inside of soil right show me show me different photos show me different angles because again you can go ahead and just pick this listing up from someone who sold the same plant i'm trying to purchase last week and try to sell it off as your own Again, don't be afraid to ask the sellers for different photos. Don't be afraid to ask the sellers for different angles because, again, if it's their listing, they wouldn't and shouldn't have an issue with sending you photos for different angles. But if you're purchasing this plant on like a big popular website, then it will be harder for a seller to send you different angles because these are like set photos and they're not selling you, you know, that exact plant. This is just a base photo and this is what you're going to look at and you're gonna get something similar to it but again if you're doing smaller listings where people are like oh I'm selling cuttings oh yada 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 then try to know what you're getting or even if it's like an eBay listing and you're like oh this is too good to be true I know some people buy plants from like Poshmark again all those sites be very careful of what you're getting because a lot of scammers they do that they just get stock photos they go to Google they steal pictures from Google and they post it off and pass it off as their own another thing is that some sellers they do tend to post photos of their mother plant as their parent plant and again because you don't read the fine print you'll get a cutting from the parent plant or you'll get a photo of this cutting used to come from this plant and this is what you're getting so again read the fine print look through the photos ask the seller hey is this the exact plant that I'm getting or is this a like as photo that you're passing off and if you really want to know what you're getting again ask the seller hey can I see what I'm buying because I don't want to get scammed and that's another thing seller communication if the seller is acting weird they're acting fishy they're really being very odd when you're asking questions that should raise a red flag for you you should tread on light waters with people like that because it can show that hey you know what maybe I'm not very accommodating to a potential issue that might not be caused by me that might be caused by other factors or you know what I'm just rude and I really don't need to support you if you're giving me an issue about my money that I want to spend in order to support you then we have a problem here okay we we what are, what are we doing here what are we doing here what are we doing here so yeah definitely check the sellers reviews if it's a website go ahead check to see if other people speak about that website if it's a particular seller on a platform then look at the other plant groups that have reviews buy sell trade groups the buy sell review groups look at that look to see if the sellers have reviews if those websites have reviews because 
you don't want to be that person to get scammed by a well-known scammer some sellers have methods where they actually create multiple profiles and they post the same listings on multiple different profiles at different times and they they get the people they get people people send them money people take their sap stories you know they're like oh I'm selling this beautiful blah 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 and someone will buy it and they won't get their plant look at the reviews these people they're good at what they do don't be an uns unsuspecting victim also I guess in regards to images a quick Google image search is really easy that'll save you so much heartache and headache I've seen these like vibrant blue scarab purple plants in nature a lot of these colors don't really exist in plants like blue plants don't really exist out there in nature so if you're seeing a blue potato a blue tomato a blue this a blue that most likely it's probably doctor it's something you can do easy on you know photo edits just add the saturation decrease the this add that a quick image Google search of the plant name the plant image will again save you a lot of headache because you're thinking wow I'm getting this rare cool thing and you really aren't you're just getting scanned by edits so yeah no a blue monstero album does not exist okay I'm letting you know now don't waste your time number three is low prices if the price is too good to be true say with me it most likely is too good to be true yes people it's too good to be true if you know a plant right on the market goes for let's say a thousand dollars and you're finding that plant for fifty dollars do you really think it's that plant no or you're getting probably gonna get seeds in the mail you're probably gonna get seeds in the mail if it's too good to be true it's probably a scam do your research do your due diligence if you are gutsy enough to go with it then make sure you're purchasing it on a way on a platform where you are protecting your money another common plant scam online plant scam that I find are fancy names honestly anything with the name rare in front of it I'm already like red flag it definitely most likely is not rare okay if a plant is rare you really think you're gonna find it on common Facebook search you're gonna find it on a common you know Facebook group on a common Google search I doubt it if something is rare it's on specific sites for specific buyers and they go for specific price ranges okay but yeah I feel like we as humans we have this fascination of being like one of a kind rare oh come in children come one come all let me show you the biggest this and that oh rare 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 yeah that, that literally is like what we are we are people from like back in the day where you had the um, and I put it in quotations freak shows where it's like the Ripley's believe it they would call it the freak shows I'm not calling them that but it's like wow one of a kind different I'm so fascinated I want it I want you to be in my party like I want to buy the rare when it's not rare so there's a recent listing that I seen online someone who was calling a Hoyo Carnoso compact variegated a rare Hoyo Carnosa Mariana and it's like you're looking at the listing this is a compacta regalis that has a higher white leaf content in it there is nothing rare about that it is so common but because they switched up the name right and they added rare in front of it so many people were inquiring like oh my gosh I want it oh my gosh how much is it oh six hundred dollars seven hundred dollars I want it I want it when no these plants you could kind of get them for like 45 bucks you could get them for like $16 from Costa Farms be careful rare does not make it rare so when you think about it it's like would you rather buy a golden pulses or would you rather buy a rare golden pulses <laughs> yeah don't fall victim okay so the sixth and final tip that I'm going to be recommending is your payment method. Yes, the creme de la creme, okay, the pièce de résistance, okay? Your payment method. 
at the end of the day these aren't your personal friends these are financial transactions protect yourself protect your investments always pay these sellers on a protected platform that will protect your money in case something goes wrong don't bank wire anyone, don't cash app anybody, don't sell anybody, don't Venmo anybody, don't Facebook pay anybody. Make sure you are paying someone under a platform that is trusted that in case you get scammed, because this is what this video is about, you are protected, your product is protected if you don't receive it, your payment is protected if it's getting stolen and you don't receive your product. Pay these people on a platform where your money is protected or a way your money can be protected. Don't purchase from people if you're trying to pay via PayPal through friends and family. Unless they're your serious, your real life friends and family, do not pay online plant sellers via friends and family because it will bite you in the behind honestly at the end of the day. Don't be naive because guess what? I made that mistake myself. The seller was so kind and they were like, oh, you know, I love plants. You love plants. Let me sell you a plant. And I was like, oh, I want to buy the plant. And I wanted the seller to get every single penny of my purchase. And guess what happened? My dumb ass, okay? My dumb ass was scammed. Literally, I say good for me because I received a box. I received a plant that was full of yellow leaves and not only was it a box full of yellow leaves the roots were dried and every single last plant in the box was infested with mealybugs but i didn't know about mealybugs because i had a healthy collection my collection was healthy i didn't deal with plant pests that purchase right i was down a hundred dollars the plant eventually died because it was a serious infestation that I didn't know was a thing. The entire plant died. On top of that, it infested my entire window. About like 20, 30 something plants infested with mealybugs. And within that time frame, I lost two pots of large healthy plants. Because literally, I got scammed. And it's not that my plant died, that was a scam. It was, I contacted the seller and I was just like, hey, um, you know, I received the box, the plants are not in very good shape. And I also noticed that, you know, there are bugs on the plant and guess what happened? You know, that kind seller that I had a soft heart for, that I paid via friends and family, that mother blocked me. Gasp. And I, again like i mentioned i lost a hundred dollar purchase i lost a plant a wishless plant and i lost two okay two other plants and i had to go through a multiple trip multiple session of killing mealybugs that have intested so many freaking plants it took me months to get rid of the mealybugs and i can say i am mealybug free for a few years now but i was scammed i was bamboozled i was bamboozled i was naive i wanted to be kind and in return i got screwed over because i was stupid don't be stupid don't be like me avoid me okay don't be like me so in regards to payment if you're paying on a website use a credit card credit cards a lot of them they either have a policy to give you 50 percent of your purchase back or they cover the whole full purchase so you could get 100 percent complete protection if you're paying via credit card i can't tell you how many sites out there are there to steal your encrypted information you click it you take it and that's it like they they just take down all your information so be careful, use a service that will protect you. I definitely recommend PayPal goods and services versus PayPal friends and family. Again, if you're paying these people that you don't know, pay them goods and services. They are a business, they're doing these transactions. Then if they don't wanna pay the fees, that's not on you, that's on them. That's between them and God. But check the websites, check the listings, read the fine print. What are the refund and return policies? Again, you don't want to purchase a plant that, you know what, the seller's like, no refunds, no returns, that's it. And you receive something in the dead of summer and it comes dry. 
okay you don't want to import a plant from a seller from somewhere in Asia it comes in inspection at US border fries your plants and you receive a dead plant more well-known sites and sellers more legit sellers they'll have a more lenient return and refund policy so keep that in mind when you are committing when you're trying to put out your hard-earned money even if it's not your money it's your loved one's money it's your sugar daddy's money it's your kids money it's your birthday money it doesn't matter it's a transaction a finance coming from you going to someone else and that is your money at the end of the day okay protect yourself so with that being said okay remember no one is looking out for you so keep yourself protected. We are living in tumultuous times. We're in a panoramic. I know I said panoramic, not pandemic. We're in a panoramic. People are always looking to get one on you, okay? They're looking to get one over your head. They're trying to make a quick buck. And the easiest, foolish, naive person they can grab a hold of, they are going to, and they're going to milk you for as much as they can, and they're going to turn their back, and you're going to be like, oh, the dear, oh, the do, I got scammed, like I was, <laughs> okay? Don't get scammed. We love our plants so much, and hell, these mofos ain't cheap at all. So again, protect yourself, protect your purchase. So to round up everything that I mentioned in this video, number one, read the listing, read the fine print, know what you're getting into yourself into, know what you're purchasing don't be that person that did not read they get seeds in the mail when the selling the seller said you're gonna get seeds in the mail and the photo is what the seeds are gonna look like okay and you're mad because you thought you were getting the photo read the listing avoid that avoid that issue all right don't give yourself that issue read the list number two look at the photos they're posting look at the details is the photo grainy does this look like something that's really doctored does this look like something from Facebook, Instagram, does this look like it's Photoshop? Look at the photos, ask the sellers for more angles because guess what, if it's really their plant, then you know what, the same way I'm responding to you, I can just click that photo option and take a photo of what you're asking for. If it's not super inconvenient because I'm trying to make a quick dollar, so I'm gonna take a photo and send it to you. Ask for the roots, show me the roots. Is it a healthy plant? Am I gonna get a dead plant in the mail, a fried plant in the mail, a root rot plant in the mail? ask for photos number three if the prices are too good to be true they probably are low prices for very expensive plants are pretty common and the commonality of it is that it's a scam don't get scammed know the market price for the plants you're getting and you know what it's okay to find a plant for a good deal because you know what the reason plants are so expensive right now is supply and demand there's a high demand for plants and you know what plants take time to grow and the supply is not high the supply chain is fucked up right now number four beware of fancy names okay beware because they're putting rare or uncommon or one of a kind in front of a plant doesn't mean the plant is rare uncommon or one of a kind okay plants grow unless it's it's something that is like endemic and it's on the endangered species list or it's something that isn't very available like the semine however you pronounce it then yeah you know expect the plant to cost a lot if they're trying to sell it is semine for like a hundred bucks come on okay don't be scammed by that so in regards to that number five don't be fooled by all these fancy names all these uncommon names they're trying to give these same very common plants if you look at a photo of a plant and you're like oh it looks like that plant it probably is okay it most likely is and these people are trying to get one up on you and lastly number six is your payment method make sure you pay either via a very safe payment method a credit card if you're someone who doesn't have a credit card then make sure you are paying with like paypal goods and services versus paypal friends and family so you don't get scammed don't sell people don't venmo don't cash app people don't facebook pay people pay these people under a server under a platform where you are protected because once you're screwed you're just gonna go through a whole headache of trying to get your money back trying to get your product back that you wanted because guess what you have a love and passion for plant so with that being said my salty pecans those are all the tips and advice that I can give you all on how to avoid falling victim and being one of the victims on these very very common more frequent online plant scams 
yes people scam you in every different sort of niche you get plant trying to buy plants you get scammed trying to knit you get scammed trying to read a book don't fall victim know the signs know what to avoid and keep yourself protected with that being said thank you so much my salty pecans for watching this video if you liked it please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and sharing subscribe if you aren't already join this little kooky family we're pretty awesome here become a salty pecan and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified every single time i upload a new video make sure you follow me on my other social medias i'm on tiktok at houseplant twitter houseplant and again subscribe here on youtube so i will see you on the next one let's get growing bye don't fall victim don't fall victim of plant scams